This is the all-new BMW XM, the most powerful M car to date. And today, I'm going to show you some of the awesome features and performance that this car has to offer. Let's go. Okay, let's talk about the new BMW XM's controversial design. It's kind of like the BMW iX and the X5M had a baby, but this is bigger. And it's still got a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 with an electric motor to make 650 horsepower and, and do 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds. It's pretty astonishing for a big boy like that, but if you need more power, BMW just announced the new label Red. So it's a beefed up version of this and it's got this unique design look to it and it's gonna have 100 horsepower more and do 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds. So you have another option to get if you want more power than this. But as you can see, BMW's started to do their dual headlight design. They've got their new running lights here and their main lights there. Now, they've got their new iconic glow around the kidney grills, which is actually pretty cool at nighttime. It looks pretty amazing. Now, what's interesting is they have more of a horizontal kidney grill set up on this car, which we've seen with the M3 and M4. They we're going with more of a vertical design. So maybe they're going back to what people really want and not to the horizontal ones. We'll see. Back here in the back, as you can see, this is somewhat of a unique design for BMW. Even the BMW Roundel is up here in the corners as a sticker, kind of an homage to the BMW M1 race car that they worked with Lamborghini to make back in the day. Even the model designation is kind of in a weird spot. Typically on the SUVs, they're over here. They even have these new tailpipes, the vertical tailpipes, they call it. It's very interesting. Now, of course, you can open up the tailgate, and you've got a ton of room back here, actually. You've got 62 cubic feet of room. And, of course, you can fold the seats down back there, but you've got a ton of space you can utilize. As you can see, it even comes with a BMW XM purse. Well, this isn't really a purse. It's actually a place to hold your charging cables because for this kind of money, what else would you use? Okay, now we're inside the BMW XM. Let's talk about some of the cool technology this car has to offer. As you can see, you get a giant curved display here. This is BMW's operating system, iDrive 8. Now, iDrive 8 is super simple. As you can see, you've got all the different ways to use the screen here. There's different widgets you can personalize to whatever you like. And the really cool thing is, because this is a BMW M car, they actually make the design a little bit different. And so it's unique to all the M cars will have a different design than what you would find in other BMW M cars. Of course, this car's got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all wireless. And so you can just easily pair your phone and any apps you have on your phone will translate to the car. So you can have anything you want, your Spotify, or if you like using Waze, it's all easy to use. Now, of course, you can use the touchscreen, as you can see. BMW also makes it so you can use gesture control. So you can turn up and down the volume just by waving your finger in the air. You can go to the left and replay a last song or go to the next one. So you can control these things just by waving your hand in the air like you just don't care. There's even ones you can customize to easily pop up a menu that you might find helpful. Now, 
You've got all these different buttons down here as well. These buttons let you control everything from your stability control. So you can go in here and put it more of an, an attract mode if you wanted to. So it lets you break the tires loose even though this is all-wheel drive. You've got all your parking cameras and sensors and everything you can see here. The car will park itself, it'll back itself in or parallel park into a parking spot if it finds one. Otherwise, you've actually got a parking view that's really cool. So you go in here, go to, to the 3D view. And again, you can use your gesture control. So as you can see, there's your car on the screen. Now you just pinch your fingers together and you can move it around. And you see these cameras live and kind of move it around. You can see if you're close to a curb or if somebody else is walking up to you. You've got every view you can possibly imagine here too. So it makes it really easy to kind of see what you need to see. Now down here at the bottom, you've got your setup mode. So when you want to change how the car drives, as you can see, we can change everything from the drivetrain, the chassis, the steering, the braking, even the MX drive. So MX drive actually changes how aggressive the all-wheel drive system is. So as you can see, you've got four-wheel drive, four-wheel drive sport, and four-wheel drive sand. Are you taking this on the sand? I don't know. I'm not, but maybe you do. But four-wheel drive sport is cool because you can limit the DSC and it will allow you to kind of get the back end loose like you've almost got a little bit of a real-wheel drive car. And so BMW lets you have a lot of freedom and fun with these cars. Now, as you can see, you can change every single thing to be exactly the way you want. Or the really cool thing is BMW offers these M buttons on the steering wheel here. So just like you have a seat setting preference, you can just tap these and this will instantaneously change to whatever your preference is on the way you want the car to drive. And so it's just easy to jump from comfort to sport mode when you want to feel a little bit funky and sporty. So you can see you get a very minimalistic setup here. So they put all the buttons down here, but keep it nice and clean up here too. The interview offers a very intuitive voice control system. You've got a microphone button on the steering wheel you can tap and talk to the car, or you can press and hold to talk to your phone. But you can also do something very cool where you can say, hey BMW, I'm hot. No problem. I'm lowering the temperature. Awesome. As you can see, it's that simple. It just changed my side, as you can see over here. And so it doesn't interfere with the driver or whatever's going on over there. And so you can tell it directions to Starbucks or call so-and-so or play satellite station, whatever. And so it will do all of it with just your voice. And so you don't have to mess with the screen or anything down here. You can just tell it what you want. It's your personal assistant. Okay, back here in the back. This XM has an astonishing amount of room back here. It's really incredible. As you can see, I've got so much legroom. I can basically lay down back here. The seats are angled where they're very, very comfortable. You can easily fit three people in here. It's got so much room. The seats are very, very comfortable. You've got all your different controls back here. I've got my heated seats, my four zone climate control. They even offer this little sliding door back here you can open up and BMW makes different accessories for the seat where you can put an iPad holder or if you want to hang up a coat they have a hanger for that or a little just hook for hanging up your purse so it doesn't have to sit on the ground. The really cool thing is each seat offers a USB-C port so you can plug in and charge your devices. So there's one on each seat there's two more down here and you get of course a cup holder and armrest here. So I think this is pretty much the ultimate road trip vehicle. You've got the cool lighting and this really comfortable back seat. I think I'm going to ride back here now. Okay, now let's take the BMW XM for a drive. Right off the bat, the seats are very comfortable. It, these are the typical M seats that you get and you know, it gives you some good support right on your shoulders and your scapula. So you really feel like you're in a race car when you get in and set your seat, the bolsters actually tighten around you so it kind of hugs you and you don't move around when you drive. It's pretty fun. Now the really cool thing is this car is so dynamic. It has the ability to just be comfortable in, in the comfort mode and you can putt around and go to the grocery store and just drive it easily. Or you can use those programmable M buttons we talked about and a flip of a switch, you can make a monster. And it is so cool that it's so dynamic because you get such a different response. You get throttle response, steering stiffness. You get even a different feel of the road when the suspension changes. So it's so cool that it can be so dynamic at one time. I mean, of course, this car has 650 horsepower. So when you want to give it some gas, it just wants to go, man. It's, it's awesome. It launches so hard. Even for a big vehicle, it feels good. BMW has a good balance of having it where it doesn't feel like it's 
bobbing all over the road. It's actually really easy to drive. And you know, BMW says the 0 to 60 time on this is 4.1 seconds, but we know BMW is pretty modest. So let's see. We get launch control active. Oh! Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so aggressive. Holy crap. <laughs> you would think the electric motor would help out with the gear changes, but man, it just makes it even more aggressive. You just get these gear changes that just throw your head back every single time. It's quite fun. guys thanks for watching the video about the bmw xm what do you guys think do you like the design is it fast enough for you is it too expensive would you buy one i mean i think i would i mean it looks pretty cool it drives really well it's kind of expensive but you know what's not expensive these days let me know what car you want me to review next i can try to get my hands on it thank you guys for watching make sure you like and subscribe i'm max we'll see you next time